Earlier today, Milwaukee police and community leaders did outreach in one Milwaukee neighborhood. They're promoting gun safety, trying to prevent other tragedies from happening. Our Uba Ali followed along and shares their message. And I've told you about the gun locks we're handing out today. Door after door. Okay, and spread the word that we have these at the district. Milwaukee police and near West Side partners made sure residents that live near 19th Street and Highland Boulevard have access to gun locks. You know, we're out here today distributing gun locks to tr try to prevent these tragedies. Lindsay St. Arnold Bell with near West Side partners is talking about a tragic accident involving a gun. Police say three year old Akai William Stilo got his hands on a gun and unintentionally shot himself. He just want to play. And if they see a gun, they still want to play. The young boy loved cars and Spider-Man, a life cut short at just three years old. As Akai's family was mourning his loss, another family of a three-year-old boy felt the same pain as their young boy was struck in an accidental shooting. He would be the second three-year-old in Milwaukee to suffer a gunshot wound in two days. Children's Hospital of Wisconsin doctors treated 71 children for gun injuries, seven resulting in death just this year, a total of 107 children in 2021. That's up from 79 in all of 2020. Take care. <laughs> MPD District 3 Captain Raymond Bratchett says it's crucial people are aware that having a gun comes with responsibilities. Bring awareness to the community members and also help them by giving them gun locks to hopefully prevent this from happening again. He believes this is just one solution. They don't have a gun lock, they can come get one for free at any district station. Oh really? Okay. To a problem that can be avoided. In Milwaukee, Uba Ali, TMJ4 News.